Okay, so I want to talk about some of the uh, little things that happen in Maya sometimes the, that um, things that don't work or sometimes what you would call glitches in Maya that you can fix and this can trip people up, uh, especially beginners who don't know how to go about fixing some of these problems. So the first thing is I'm going to show you how to fix the no mental ray uh, renderer. So when you go to render and you're ready to render something and you're watching some tutorial online and they say okay let's make sure you render using mental ray but when you go to your render options you see that there is no mental ray option uh, so when that happens that means that Maya did not load uh, mental ray so you have to enable that uh, yourself so to enable mental ray you go to window settings preferences and go to the plugin manager under this window you have to enable mental ray and for Maya 2014 they made it more convenient as you can scroll down all the way down and you can see that mental ray is at the bottom which is Maya 2 MR okay so what you want to do is make sure that loaded and auto load are enabled and this way next time you try to render something you can actually choose mental ray uh, if you're not using Maya 2014 if you're using an older version uh, it's gonna be a more, more difficult to find this but you just have to look for it under this area which is going to be Maya 2 MR so you have to refresh and now if you go to render you can see that mental ray is now an option so you can render using mental ray Another problem that uh, happens in Maya is if you are going to export something from Maya. Let's say you want to export this as an OBJ file or an FPX file, and uh, the option, just like Mental Ray, the option is not there. So again, you have to enable that from the same window as Mental Ray uh, by going to Window Settings Preferences, going to the Plugin Manager. Here you're going to look for the OBJ export or the FBX export. So in this case, the OBJ export is named OBJ export. So you can load, make sure it's loaded and auto load are checked. Same for the FBX, which is under FBX Maya. Okay, so that's how to fix uh, the problem with trying to export something uh, with a specific file type and it's not showing in Maya okay so the next problem that sometimes happens in Maya is that and this is going to be a bit more difficult for me to actually show because this tends to be again really random and there's no way for me to know when this is going to happen and that is when you do bevels okay, so let me bevel something I'm going to bevel okay so sometimes in Maya when you bevel something you'll notice that uh, sometimes you bevel something and it looks like the faces disappear like something like this it looks like something got deleted when you bevel and you don't know what happened you think that you know the bevel tool is not working or something or that you did something wrong but the problem sometimes is a lot of times is that Maya just uh, did not apply the material to those faces so they are actually there but they're just invisible so what you have to do is go to object mode and go right click hold on right click and go to assign existing material and you assign whatever material that object had if it was, if it was lambert one then it was lambert one so that's what happens sometimes when you bevel things uh, things go transparent and you think that those those uh, faces have been deleted but they're actually there and you just have to apply the material again so that you can see the whole object another thing that happens in Maya and this is not really a problem this is just something that uh, happens a lot to people who are new to the software and maybe sometimes they press the button on their keyboard and they don't know what's going on so sometimes I get some uh, emails or comments in my videos 
saying that hey my model I select a face or a vertex and my whole model is like yellow or red so when that happens what that means is just that you have soft selection selected that's actually a very useful thing in Maya like you can use later for shaping and whatnot but if you're just getting into Maya and you don't know what this is so so you wonder why you move something and the whole model moves so basically if you're completely new to Maya I would say don't don't bother with uh, uh, soft selection yet uh, you can learn about that a bit later but what you want to do now is disable that so that you can continue to work uh, and follow tutorials and whatnot so to disable uh, soft selection the easiest way and this is probably how you enabled it in the first place is by pressing B on your keyboard so if you press B and press B again you can see that you are enabling and disabling uh, soft selection another way to disable that is if you double click right here on the move tool and scroll all the way down you can see a uh, soft selection right here and as you can see it is checked which means it's enabled so you just want to disable that so that you can continue to work many times in Maya you want to work with the channel box here which sometimes shows some of the history of your object and allows for you to tweak some of the options for some of the tools so let's say I go to edit mesh and insert an edge loop okay and maybe I want this edge loop to be exactly in the middle of this cube here so I can do so by going to my history so one of the problems that sometimes happens to people is that they notice that they don't have those options here so that means that your history is not enabled uh, you should have history here the last thing I did was enter an edge loop so enter edge loop should be right here under my history but as you can see it's not there so the easiest way to fix that is by clicking right here uh, to enable your construction history so I'm going to enable that and now uh, the things that I did before enabling enabling my history are not going to appear so let's say now I go and insert my edge loop as you can see everything's back here on my history and I can come here and adjust my some of the settings for my edge loops here other questions that I get sometimes uh, in the comment section is people who say that their Maya uh, software tends to crash a lot and uh, it may be with the this may have to do with your computer and maybe not having the uh, necessary specs for using this software so I will go ahead and check that in the Maya website uh, other things that you can try is uninstalling and installing software again but something else that you can also do is that um, there's more than one version of Maya so how do you know what version you have so if you go to help and go to where it says about Maya and you're going to get this window and here you can check the version of Maya that you're using in this case I'm using the Autodesk Maya 2014 service pack 3 okay if you downloaded Maya for the first time um, you may have the service pack 1 or or just it or it's just gonna say Maya here what that means the service pack yeah what they do is they kind of come up with service packs they have like two or three after the initial uh, release of Maya and they fix some of the things some problems glitches that happen within the software uh, things that can prevent some of the crashes as well so I would go ahead and look into uh, just type in Google uh, the latest Maya service pack and install that instead of just going to the Autodesk website and that's going to actually require you to uninstall the uh, the Maya version that you have right now and then install the service pack which is the whole Maya software uh, make sure you have your uh, Maya license key and all that information because it's going to ask you for that again but basically sometimes they fix some of the problems that can cause some of the crashes um, with the service pack the last thing I want to talk about is um, dealing with uh, sometimes when your file crashes when Maya crashes uh, one tip I have is to save your file let me, let me go ahead 
so when you go to save um, one tip I have is to save using the Maya save it as an MA file which is this one instead of MB file and the reason for that is that when Maya crashes it's going to save a temporary file on your computer uh, but you can only recover that file if you saved it your initial file as an MA file which is this one. if you save it as an MB file you're not going to be able to recover that file so that's my tip about uh, having crashes in Maya. Okay, so that's basically what I wanted to talk about. Just wanted to go over some of those things that sometimes happen. Uh, this is more specifically to people who are, you know, relatively new to Maya um, and who may not know how to go about uh, dealing with these these problems that sometimes happen when you're using the software.